Hey, this is Will Terry, and I got a lot of videos at willterry.blogspot.com. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check out more of my stuff, I can't talk and write at the same time. Dot com. Um, that's my website, and you can see my portfolio there. I'm a children's book illustrator, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about Procreate, the Procreate app. So I'm just going to go back out real quick. And this is what it looks like right here. Um, I, I do all my sketching in this book right now, or in this app on my iPad. I haven't used paper for about three years now. And so what I'm going to do is show you how I draw using the Procreate app. Um, and uh, I don't paint with it, but I'll just show you real quick. Here's, a, here's a, an image that I'm, I made for... Um, book that I'm working on, a Halloween book, and uh, this is part of one of the sketches in there. And anyway, you can see that there's actually quite a lot of detail, and I actually just draw with my finger. So I had a stylus one at one point. It broke about three years ago when I got my first iPad. But you can see I just zoom in, and I can add little branches with my finger. And um, so I found that I don't need a stylus. So I'm going to show you today how I how the heck I draw with this thing the cool thing about this guy right here is he's always with me I never forget to take him with me and uh, he hasn't dulled out yet I, I use I lose a little a few skin cells after a session of painting but they always seem to regenerate so it's like my cy cyborg finger okay so anyway I'll just show you here's I actually just wanted to do a little painting on this when I was uh, in the airport in Atlanta just to see how far I could take one and this is one that I put out on my blog um, so yeah so anyway uh, right now I'm working on sketches for a Halloween book getting ready to start on sketches for a, a Christmas book for another publisher and today I'm going to get a new document and I'm gonna draw a robot uh, for you guys and and kinda just show you how I work so the first thing that I do is, this is the little picker right here. Um, I'm not going to get into a how-to. I'm sure there's how-tos out there on YouTube on how to use this this program. But you basically have layers. Um, and if you just go through each one of these tools, it's really simple. So just if you don't know what something is, touch it and see what it does. So um, let's see, make sure you can see these tools so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just test out my brush it's too thin three finger a three finger swipe from right to left undoes and this is the size of my brush and I like to start out drawing with kind of a fatter brush and with low opacity so something like that so you can barely see it and then what I'm gonna do is um, oops um, oh, you know, another thing I might tell you is the reason that I like this program better than other drawing programs is simply because you can rotate the screen without having to rotate your iPad. And so that's really nice for working. Also, the file sizes are much larger than other programs. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is do kind of a little gesture on this robot. And so I'm thinking, you know, I got a little piece of dust there. Let's get rid of this here. I'm thinking, let's just do a little gesture of, you know, a robot, and maybe he's, um, you know, maybe he's got a trackball, and he's kind of zooming, and he's, he's kind of coming from, from left to right, kind of in this direction right here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of undo the paint stroke, there we go. That, another thing, a little drawback about Procreate is, because it's a beefier program, it does take things a little bit longer to do sometimes. Um, so, that might be considered a little bit of a drawback. Um, and then, I just, I just, I start with just kind of gestural things in the beginning. Let's see. We'll make it so we're looking down on him a little bit. And that's all I really want, is just something like that. Okay, so you can see that. 
So that's my first little thing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer by just tapping on it, tapping on the layer and let's see, let's see if we can get it to work here. Duplicate and then it's going to make a second layer. You'll see it'll pop up right here. Again, it has to think a little bit so don't be too impatient with it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull off this one by hitting transform just so we can see each layer and I'm just going to stick this one up here really small so we can keep each each step that we do um, accept it and then I am going to go back into the layers and I'm going to get this one and I'm going to transform that one and make it a little bit smaller so it fits on the screen better and that's the neat thing is you know you can I mean you never run out of paper that's that's probably the the biggest reason why I like sketching on the iPad is if I like something I can move it I can manipulate it I don't have to worry about running out of paper okay so I'm going to hit accept on that and then I'm going to get another layer so I'm going to go on top of this I'm going to touch that layer and then I'm going to hit the plus sign it's going to give me an extra layer a blank layer and now I'm going to draw on top of this and I'm going to get a little bit smaller um, brush and you know the brushes are all kind of hidden over here let's see whoops um, and we'll just look at these brushes here and there's tons of brushes you know what I'm just using the airbrush in the medium hard and I you know, I would say experiment with different brushes and stuff, but I, I use them so small because I'm drawing with them that the brush really doesn't matter. Okay, so now I want to start perfecting this little guy. And so I'm just going to kind of come in here and say, let's see. Oh, that's right. I'm going to make it a top view. So I'm just going to kind of give him like a bucket head and I'm just going to draw through on everything and then make the ellipse for his body I'll make it a little bit bigger there's a dog barking outside now he won't bark all day but if I want to make a video I can get him to bark every time It's pretty cool like that and then um, I, like I said I'm going to give it a trackball to run on and again I'm just going to draw through on everything here then I'm going to give him a little opening. I, I say him, but it could be a her. Um, and then kind of an, an arm that's, we're going to define this later on um, with like a ball on the end of it. And I don't know how we're going to finish that out, but it'll be something. Oh, maybe it'll have some sort of a like a like a grabber kind of a thing on the end we can always go back in and fix that and then the same thing on this one we'll make it let's see let's make him come through the body there and it might come out over here so I might get the eraser out and just lightly erase a little bit on there I like to set my eraser so it's not completely opaque and then let's bring that arm out over here and then kind of coming forward with a ball on the end and some sort of apparatus we're not going to worry about that right now I just kind of want to get my gesture I had a little bit more gesture going on before kind of like he can actually move a little bit there okay so that's all I really need on that layer okay so now that it's getting solidified a little bit more I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to have to wait a second for it to duplicate and then I'm going to take that layer again and I'm going to transform it so the one that I just drew on I'm going to put that up there so that we can kind of see along the way uh, what we're getting and then it takes a little while to I think I hit accept maybe I missed there we go and then um, I'm going to move these layers together. Now, one thing that you have to do in this program is layer management. If I tap and hold, it's going to give me a copy and merge. I'm going to merge down 
so I can combine these two layers right here. Okay, so and that way I don't want to have a ton of layers because it's going to slow down this program. The processor on the iPad is pretty small compared to your desktop or your laptop computer, so um, yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, and I'm going to merge these two layers as well to save on layers. And then I'm going to lighten this layer because I just don't need to see it as dark. Okay, because I'm going to draw on top of that one again. So now I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm going to tap here and I'm going to put a layer in between these two. So there's my new layer and now I'm going to sit down because I should have been sitting in the first place. And um, so now I'm just going to kind of work on this. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit darker and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And now I'm just going to start adding a little bit of detail in here. And let's see, let's complete this this ball a little bit right here. And then let's say that this arm kind of attaches here and maybe it goes in side this circle here and let's so uh, what I'm doing basically is I'm using what I've already drawn as kind of a map almost, you know. Um, a map for drawing. That's going to stop there. And then we've got this ellipse right here. But we can already kind of see it there so we don't need to keep, we don't need to draw the rest of it. And also on this trackball we can just kind of follow along but not finish that out anymore. Um, then on these, now this is this might be a time where I'll put in, you know, little, I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of like an accordion arm so that it can move. Something like that. And I'll just put a bunch of these guys in there. Again, this can be refined again and again and again until you feel like you got it right but you kinda have to start somewhere and then let's see I think I took that a little too far but it won't matter we'll finish that part out okay and then I'm gonna work on the head now the head is going to need to attach kind of like right in the middle, but again this won't matter either. So I might want to, let's just put that ellipse in there, like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to erase that off a little bit there. Um, maybe on this on this ball, you know, I might go down in in opacity a little bit, and just say, you know, on this on this ball, oops, I'm on the eraser. There might be like um, oh, I don't know, a, a kind of a a place for some from some traction or something, you know, something to give it a little a little bit of traction along there. So I'll just kind of throw that on there, and then I'll go back up, and then I'll just just loosely try to say, okay, um, let's see, maybe these little things kind of work like this. Again, I don't know what to call these. Okay, and then maybe he has kind of a kind of a arm that can grab things, and we'll put one over here on this side too. So maybe something like this. Okay, 
And then we need to do the same thing over here. I don't like these that much though. Just gonna erase that back a little bit. And I'm just gonna try to envision this working out and it's not going to be perfect and I might have to go in and really work on this some more but I just want to get a really really raw uh, rough idea as to where the details are going to go for me to then go back in and perfect it a little bit better okay and maybe there's some sort of a thing on top of his head with an antenna or something. Okay, so that's that's like the basic robot right there. Now I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to do the same thing that we've done before. And I don't really like the way the arms are going, but we're just going to run with it for the sake of this video because this is just kind of a little demo video. So let's just uh, duplicate this layer okay and then I'm going to transform it so I'm going to pull that layer up and I will just stick it right there it won't matter okay except and then I'm going to merge those down by tapping and holding, merge down, and then I'm going to merge this one down to the other one, giving me two layers again, and then I'm going to lighten it again. So each time I get lighter, you know, I can see less of the previous layers, but that's okay that's what I want. Let's do, let's just transform it and we'll make it a little bit smaller so it kind of fits on the page here. And we'll just do one more layer, uh, one more refinement layer. But when I'm normally working on this on, on my own sketches, sometimes I'll go through you know, five or six or seven of these different um, layers just to really, really get in there and I'm going to go ahead and go darker and I'm going to go smaller on the brush even still so now I can get in here and I can actually really define stuff and I'm not going to make you sit through and watch this whole thing um, be defined because it would take forever but I'm just going to show you like a lot of people are like well how do you get those lines with your with just your finger and it's like well if you've already made the map and it's already designed and you're not you're not in the design stage anymore you can actually go in here and make things work because you've already got you've already kind of made a map along the way now these aren't in the right place but I can fix it because I can see it now because it's big and I just want to go there like that and then I want to bring this up and that's going to go over and it's like you can you can start to see things whoops um, see things for how they work um, you can also hit undo right there um, because you can zoom in so much I guess is what I'm trying to say so then on this I might want to go in here and say because it's actually foreshortening a little bit maybe I'll throw in a few more and I hope this works out. It's always nerve-wracking to make a video. Um, and then I'll throw in a few more here. And then that way I can kind of... bring these around. And it, it didn't work out as well as I had wanted, but it's all right. But you can see how that, oops, 
Let's do that a little bit better. And then on this head here, I can get real big for this ellipse right here. And it's just so much easier to draw it. And it doesn't matter that, you know, my finger is fat and bulbous because, look, I can make this line. I mean, anybody can do that. Anybody can look right here and just look at the next point and draw straight up to it. You know, I mean, if you practice it, I'm just going to kind of come around here. And let's say I didn't do that right and I didn't like it. You just undo it and do it again. You know, just kind of try to feel that curve right there. And then maybe he's got some... I don't know why he would have teeth, but maybe he does. Maybe this has some dimension to it, but because it's so big, it's easy to figure out. Maybe maybe these eyeballs have dimension too, and maybe they're they kind of stick out, you know. You probably wouldn't see that one sticking out, but then I can kind of come back in with an eraser if I want to, and just kind of. I can fix this guy. So and in a second here I'll just show you some of the drawings that I've done um, in this program. So let's see here. We'll put that out there. You know and it may be at this point too um, yeah, you know, maybe he has more detail on his, uh, you know, maybe there's, well, I guess that wouldn't work right there. But I can fix this opening right here, you know. If it's not big enough, I can kind of make it bigger. And, of course, I could fix that other arm. And I can put little buttons and such anyway hopefully this gives you kind of the idea of how I'm working in Procreate. What a weird name for a drawing app. It's funny how many people notice that too. So I'm not going to finish out his other arm, but you can kind of get the picture on how, you know how you can make these things work. Um, let me go ahead and show you real quick some of the other drawings that I've done. This is um, this is for a, a Halloween book that I'm working on for a publisher right now. And, um, you know, all these, all this was done in this drawing app right here. Um, another one that has a lot of detail uh, for the same book is, is this, you know, this, this pathway that leads into a forest. And, um, you know, I'm getting all these little details simply by coming in. And when you can come in this far, you know, you can you can add little branches and you know to work on and to perfect some of these uh, branches here you know you just kinda are working at this size but I didn't start out at that size and you I hope you can see some of these little ghosted images back in there and those are my first layers like I can see it right here this gray those are some of the first lines that I did and then the black is of course where I went in and, and perfected that uh, I did do a little painting. I don't. I don't paint in this program um, on a regular basis. I was in Atlanta Airport, and I I wanted to see how far I could take one. I had a few hours to kill, and so I made this little mechanical whale, um, 
and, and just had a lot of fun doing that. So this was all totally done in, in Procreate. What I do is I take my sketches from here and I'm actually painting on this book right now and um, oh here's another one and so what I'll do I'll just show you um, this is I have this one out on my blog as well um, but you can just take these and email them so I'll just email it to my desktop you just come in here to edit tap it then go back to this little arrow here and you can send it to Twitter, you can send it to iTunes, to Dropbox, and you can send it to your email. You can choose whether you want to send a PNG or a JPEG, and, and then you just send it to yourself. And then I'll just paint it up in Photoshop. So that's my video. hope to see you on my channel. If you click on, uh, on the bottom of my channel right below this video, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see my name down there. If you click on Will Terry, it'll take you out to my channel. You can see all my other videos. All right, thanks for watching.